Police and neighbors in some cities where the Occupy Wall Street protests have spread appear to be losing patience. SWAT teams in riot gear were joined by police on motorcycles and horses to clear protesters from a downtown Atlanta park. They had been camped there for about two weeks. At least 50 people were arrested. Before police marched in, protesters were warned a couple of times to vacate the park or risk arrest. In Oakland, police in riot gear fired tear gas and bean bags before daybreak Tuesday. They were breaking up about 170 protesters who had been camping in front of City Hall for the past two weeks. 97 people were arrested. City officials in Oakland had initially been supportive of the protesters, but tensions reached a boiling point after a sexual assault, a severe beating, and a fire were reported, and paramedics were denied access to the camp, according to city officials. They also cited complaints about threatening behavior and concerns about rats, fire hazards, and public urination. When police moved in, they were pelted with rocks, bottles, and utensils from people in the camp's kitchen area. There were no reported injuries. Protesters were taken away in plastic handcuffs, most of them arrested on suspicion of illegal lodging. In Providence, Rhode Island, the mayor is threatening to go to court to evict demonstrators from a park. City officials say grass is getting damaged and they want to close the restrooms and prepare the park for winter. And at the unofficial headquarters of the Occupy Wall Street movement, businesses and residents near New York's Zuccotti Park are demanding something be done to discourage protesters from urinating in the street and making noise at all hours. The neighborhood board voted Tuesday night to pass a resolution that proposed off-site portable bathrooms funded by local donors. The resolution also requested that loud noises like the blast of air horns and group chanting be limited to two hours during the day. The park's owner tried to push the protesters out two weeks ago to try to clean it up, but backed off at the last minute after a public outcry. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.